Experiencing discomfort or pain in the pelvic region, especially with our sex organs, can be really distressing. But there's hope. We can change pain and change your experience in your body. In this video, you're going to learn about the anatomy of your pelvic floor and the pelvic tissues. And then we're going to apply our knowledge of the anatomy of this region in using your breath and a movement snack to help decrease the protective buffering, relieve some of the pain and discomfort that you may be experiencing. Here is the pe a pelvic model. To orient you, these are your butt bones. These are the bony parts of the hips on top of your waistline. In the front, you have your pubic bone. In the back, we have the sacrum and the tailbone. And then your spine sits stacked up on top of the sacrum. If we were to lie you on your back and take a view from this position, Everything in between your butt bones is called the perineum. Your pelvic tissues live here and your sex organs live here. So if we take a closer look here, you can see there's a triangular orientation of muscles that wrap around the base of the penis and also attach to the butt bones and then to your pubic bone. Please note that your erectile tissue also attaches to the same sites as these muscles along the ischiopubic ramus. You have the anus here that is also wrapped with the external anal sphincter. And then the lighter pink muscles that you see here are the deeper layer of the pelvic floor muscles, which are called the levator ani. What's not shown in this 3D model are the neurovascular structures that also live here and also crave blood flow movement in space. So you have nerves that exit alongside of this bony part of the butt that you sit on and branch off to many different structures within the pelvis on both sides. Often when folks feel discomfort in this region, it may feel tight, it may feel achy, it may also feel sharp and shooting occasionally. All of those sensations that you might experience in the pelvic region can certainly be alarming, which means that the protective buffer gets wider and wider and wider. So before pain, that protective buffer is very narrow. After you experience pain, especially when there is uh, some confusion or you don't know don't understand or haven't gotten a clear answer on why you might be experiencing pain that protective buffer can get larger when your protective buffer is large you may experience increased muscular bracing or protection you may also feel an increase in the perceived sensitivity of pain. You may also experience mood changes like worry, anxiety, sadness, depression, anger around your experience. So to help narrow or bring in that protective buffer, we're going to use our breath, body awareness, and a movement snack to help reorganize the nervous system, send nourishing sensory input and signals into your body to communicate with your brain and mind that you are safe. So breath with pelvic awareness. When you breathe in and out, there's a natural movement of your breathing muscle, which is called your diaphragm, that sits underneath your rib cage. When you breathe in, that diaphragm descends, comes down, and changes the intracavitary pressure in the body. That pressure within the torso, rib cage, abdomen, into the pelvis increases. When that pressure increases, your pelvic muscles underneath, they act like a little trampoline. Breathing in expands the pelvic muscles and all of the tissues and reproductive organs that live here. 
and when you breathe out comes back to resting or baseline during the breathing process the structures of the pelvis and all of the nerves connective tissue vascular tissue does get a nice massage and stretch so using your breath with an intentional and purposeful focus of just noticing the flow of breath and movement in this area is enough to help mobilize these tissues. It's also enough to help decrease some of the protective guarding or bracing that you may be experiencing in the pelvic region. Using your breath to move tissues also helps with circulation to these tissues and also tells the nervous system, all the nerves in this area and the nerves that connect to your brain that you are safe and that that huge protective buffer is not really necessary. So that also helps to communicate with your nervous system and all of the structures within your brain that are trying to protect you, especially when we're dealing with pain in an area that is of great importance. So now we're going to use this breath awareness with a movement snack. Starting on your back. Comfortably finding a posture lying on your back. Feel free to use blankets or pillows in areas that feel more comfortable with a little bit more padding. You can choose to start in this position with both of your knees propped up, soles of the feet comfortably resting on the floor. And beginning this process by just checking in with your body, where it is in space, how it feels as it contacts the earth beneath you, and just getting an, an overall picture of how your body is feeling right now, right here. It's helpful to always check in with yourself before and after you do an activity to see how that activity or that practice served you, whether that's your mind or your body or both. And then gently bring and extend your one of your legs down. In this case, my right leg is, is straight. And then gently pull the opposite knee towards your chest. Now play around with the angles of that knee. If you squeeze a little bit more towards your shoulder or if you back off, how does that feel? And you want to go about this exploration in a very slow way because you want your nervous system to adapt to your movement and lessen the need for that protective reflex to kick in, that muscular guarding intention. So play around with the movement of your hip, your, your lower back, your spine. And then once you find a comfortable shape or posture that you can settle into for a few minutes. Hang out there and then add that breath awareness. So breathing into your body, your torso, wherever it feels comfortable to breathe into. Slow, soft, and smooth. Not forcing it in any way. And then imagining and even noticing, if you can, if, if that's what's presenting to you today, that expansiveness, that spaciousness within the pelvis and your hip. And then hang out here for a couple of breaths. You can repeat on the other side, which I encourage you to do and explore again what that would feel like, right versus left, left versus right. And then after you do the practice, take a moment to settle into your mind and body to notice how that impacted how you feel. What was that experience like for you?
and it's always helpful to note at least one positive thing from that activity that you did. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button below. This will help other guys in your situation also find these resources sooner than later. If you're a penis owner who's currently struggling with pelvic pain, you're not alone. Check out the Men's DIY Pelvic Pain Relief Program. The link is in the description below.